Luke chapter 21 and verse 9, 10, 11. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Luke chapter 21 verse 9 to 11. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders, our great millstone who were well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. It's the brother Aharon coming back at you with another lesson, rolling and be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, I believe today is the 24th. All right, of May 2024, all right, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And uh, the title of this video is Germany warns that it will arrest Benjamin Netanyahu if he sets foot in the country. Okay, and um, now we're starting to see, as biblically prophesied, the cracks, all right, within the nations of NATO and the EU, all right, which pretty much makes up the beast system. All right, the countries that make up uh, the beast system that's spoken of in the book of revelation all right now biblically it's prophesied that these nations all right specifically the uh the the, the nations of the the uh, european union all right will um make up a, a team to come up against america and that's simply because of america's policies okay and as a matter of fact we're gonna get that really quickly all right um real fast here <clears throat> In the book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse 16, it says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, the whore meaning America, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay, so um, I think yesterday or so, I saw a news, or it might have been this morning, um, early, early in the morning, that the um, United States is preparing a package of uh, over 200 million dollars of, of aid all right to back israel okay now the funny thing is israel now they're not just fighting against the so-called palestinians it, it wouldn't make sense okay the palestinians don't even have anything or anywhere close to the military armaments and, and technological advancements that the so-called israelis have okay the so-called idf and so on and so forth right but yet, they've been waging war against them since October 7th, all right? When they said they, they, they perpetrated, all right? Because now it's it's evident, okay, that they perpetrated this whole so-called attack, what they call October 7th attack, right, by so-called Hamas. And that was just an excuse for them to push like they always do, all right? Like uh, what happened with even America, uh, for them to go to war uh, against Iraq uh, under so-called George Bush. They had to prepare a narrative, propaganda, okay? Some form of fear in order to get Congress to approve of them going into war. Same thing with World War I. America got involved and World War II. America got involved against specifically Germany, okay? Germany, once again, is back in the frame as we're entering into World War III, okay? Now, let's get this real fast in the book of Ezekiel. I mean, Salakia, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter 49, let's get that real fast. All right, now we're going to run through this article really quickly. All right. Um, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 20. It says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh. All right, the, the one who's mustering up the host to battle, right? Because <clears throat> remember, the Lord said in the last days, he's going to gather these nations, all these great nations. All right. Um, he's going to gather them in one place, all right, which is the land of uh, the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, which is known fraudulently known as the so-called Middle East, but 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 rightfully known as uh, Western Asia, okay, Southwestern Asia. All right, to be specific, it says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, that He hath taken against Edom, right, and His purpose or purposes that He hath purposed against the inhabitants of Taman, and Taman 
the Temanites today will be known as the so-called Germans. Okay, now all together, they're all part of the nation of Esau, Edom. Okay, but within that nation, you have divisions. That's why we just read, Yahweh Shai say, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. You're going to have different nations coming against each other, going into race wars and so on and so forth. But you're also going to have divisions within those nations, right? So it's war all on all on all fronts, if you will. Okay, it says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And who's that least of the flock? It's talking about Israel. Okay, as you can see right now, they are the smallest, but yet the greatest. Okay, because the Lord made them so, the greatest in wickedness. Look at look what look at what they're doing around the world right now. They're causing all this rift to happen. The shifting of the so-called tectonic plates is happening because of these people, man. Okay, and this 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 um this use of the so-called word anti-Semitic or anti-Semitism. All right, they're using that word. Uh, to propel them to keep on doing wickedness where nobody could speak against it. And that's why that term or that phrase was created or that word was created. Okay. It was just created as a, as a, a defense mechanism to stop people from people from speaking the truth against what they actually do. Okay. It says, surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. All right. So that's going into what the destruction ultimately of the land of Israel and causing uh, these other nations to come to war. Okay, ultimately having beef with America because of her policies. Because like I said, America is sending aid to Israel. And these other nations are saying, yo, what's going on here? But let's read this article real quick. It says, Germany warns that it will arrest Benjamin Netanyahu if he sets foot in the country. Germany will arrest Israel, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu if he enters the country amid allegations of war crimes by the International Criminal Court. A spokesperson has confirmed. Stefan Haberstreit, or Haberstreit, a spokesperson for German Council or Chancellor Olaf Scholz, confirmed on Wednesday the country would abide by the law and arrest the under fire Israeli leader should he visit the EU nation. This comes after British prosecutor Karim Khan announced on Monday that he is seeking warrants for Netanyahu, Israeli Defense Minister. Yoav Gallant, as well as three Hamas terror, uh, terror chiefs, including Yahya Sinwar, the ruler in the God in Gaza, who ma masterminded October 7. <laughs> Netanyahu <clears throat> labeled the allegations, quote, a distortion of reality, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> and accused the prosecutor of callously pouring gasoline on the fires of anti anti-Semitism that are raging across the world. That's not, that's, that's not what's going on. Right now, what's going on is the nation's waking up, all right, to Esau, Edom, all right, and where his actually, where his power comes from and what he does with this so-called power that he, he thinks he has, okay? So right now, the whole world is openly seeing that there's a genocide going on, and yet they turn around and call that, um, you know, anyone who speaks against it an anti-Semite. Anti they're going back to a tried and true tactic of demonizing those who speak the truth. Okay, when you highlight their wickedness and their demonic activities, all right, that causes death, harm, destruction. They call you, they call you a hate group. You see? And that's a devil for you. That's why the scriptures call them the man of sin, the man of perdition, meaning destruction. Okay, that's what he stands for. All right. So continuing, it says Germany's uh, decision comes after Israeli's ambassador to Berlin. Ron Prosser made a desperate plea to the German government to reject the ICC's proposed arrest warrant. Take, uh, taking to X, formerly known as Twitter, on Tuesday, Prosser wrote, quote, This is outrageous. The German uh, Statsaron, uh, let's just say that, is now being put on the test. No, if, no ifs or buts. This contrast with the weak statements we hear from some institutions and political actors. The public statement that Israel has the right to self-defense loses credibility if our hands are tied as soon as we defend ourselves. There you go. You see, now the nations are starting to wake up. This is all, again, this is all going to bring America into the frame. Because why is America still aiding a, a, a country that is being uh, deemed a, a terrorist country at this point? behind the leadership of so-called Netanyahu, which he's just a front, he's just a front runner. He's just a face. 
All right. He doesn't really have any power. He was groomed for this. <laughs> you should look, you should find out some more history on his father. Okay. Back in the sixties and what they were doing even earlier than that. Okay. On how they were able to bring about, uh, um, certain wars that was, was, um, orchestrated in order to, uh, fester this, this idea of anti-Semiticism. Okay. So you should, you should, you should look into that. This is not, there's nothing new. All right. That kid, that, <laughs> uh, Netanyahu and they, they try to push that, you know, oh, they call him BB, you know, try to make him seem more like a, you know, like a more, more casual, you know, oh, BB, you know, not Netanyahu. No, 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 this guy's a demon. Okay. He's a demon. He's been a demon for years. All right. When America was trying to go to war against Iraq and all these different countries, Afghanistan and all that, he was there talking about, this is why we have to go in. This is why this, and if we don't do this, we have to stop terrorism and all this bullshit. That's the excuse they use all the time. Oh, we need to stop terrorism. We need, it's a war on terror, war on terror. Now it's the war on truth. And we know what happens when you make war against the truth. <laughs> so it continues, it says, um, it says, uh, stats, stat, stats are on, or, or yeah, refers to Germany's long-standing commitment to the defense of Israel. A policy declared by former Chancellor Angela Merkel during a 2008 speech to the uh, Knesset. It says, uh, Prosser added, the chief prosecutor equates a democratic government with Hamas, hmm. thereby demonizing and delegitimizing Israel and the Jewish people. Okay. Now, it's not all so-called Jewish people that fall under this category, but being that the world doesn't really have that entire truth and knowledge the whole truth they just group everyone together but we over here in the truth we understand that not every so-called j is an edomite you have different different people different nations and so on and so forth but spiritually they're not their line will go back to the nation of israel so yeah you might be counted as uh, as an israeli or whatever the case may be but if your spirit resonates with this truth all right that you are a son of the heavenly father Okay, as the Apostle Paul said, as a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Okay, um, our spirit beareth witness. Let me see. Now, now blue letters acting up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sometimes saying just try to jump around, you know, but that's okay. All right, here's a book of uh, Romans, chapter 8 and verse 16. It says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Okay, so the spirit only comes out when the word comes out, right? The word is what carries the spirit. So when the word, like Yahushai said, my sheep heareth my voice and they do follow me. So you're going to hear the, the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai also in the book of Proverbs. All right, it talks about the the, the Lord um, sending out his men, wisdom, crying out in the chief places of, of the concourse, of concourse, right? So when you hear the words being preached out and, you, and it resonates with you in the spirit, no matter what nation you might look like or what land you might be in currently, Right. Whatever customs that you believe and you've been doing since or before you woke up to the truth. Once this truth resonates with you, you are a child of God. OK, because our people have been scattered throughout the whole entire world. There ain't no if ends or buts about that one. OK, and that's biblically prophesied that in the in the last days, the Lord will gather his nation. Amos, the ninth chapter. All right. He's going to gather his children and sift them like a corn is sifted all right, in a sieve. OK, so it's going to be it's going to be. It's going to be the the the, uh, the elect being brought out from all these other nations, all right, and gathered by this word, okay? And that's why they're trying to demonize the word, because people are waking up and all that. Oh, you 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 the 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 differentiation and the class, or or the breaking down of races by color and nationality and so on and so forth, as is understood today at least, okay, um, is being destroyed by the by the truth. See. We could we could see a so-called Jay with a hat and all this, you know, yarmulke and all that, and he could pull up.